An aficionado of all things rare and beautiful, it is no wonder that Salajung's attention turned towards the magnificent world of oriental weaves. Salajung wanted to be surrounded by beauty, and what can be more beautiful to look at and feel than gorgeous textiles from the east and magnificent oriental rugs and carpets. The textiles gallery of Salajung Museum gives you a visual treat of color, pattern, iconography and texture. The amazing collection of textiles and carpets at Salajung Museum come from China, Japan, India, Persia and other countries. Oriental textiles and carpets have long been valued for their artistry and durability and not to mention their association with taste and gentility. Salarjang acquired rare and extraordinarily beautiful decorative items that continue to enchant us even today. Be mesmerized as the textiles and carpets gallery unfolds before you. Salajung Museum lives up to its reputation as the grandest one-man collection of art and artistic masterpieces in the world. As we view the innumerable varieties of precious items he amassed during his life. A lover of richness with a royal taste, his textile gallery presents a lavish feast of color, shimmer and texture. Salajung favoured the exotic attraction of the East for his choice in textiles and carpets. As such, the museum showcases Indian brocades, muslins from Dhaka, Chinese and Japanese needlework and above all the world famous Persian carpets. Brocade was the rich and decorative fabric which royalty and nobility chose for their attire and luxurious living. The fabric was shuttle woven in coloured silk with or without golden and silver threads. It was known as Kim Khab in India and literally meant fabric woven with gold or silver wire. The precious material was produced in Banaras, Aurangabad and Ahmedabad and was intricately woven with shikarga, hunting scene motifs, butidar, spring leaf motifs or the beldar, scroll motifs. These were woven in attractive colors and complicated and lavish designs. Flowers and birds and especially the peacock provided the inspiration for many a marvelous design or theme of motifs. Salarjung's textile collection boasts a supremely beautiful Kim Khab brocade piece, a tablecloth woven with florals and parrot design, in gold and silver thread and pure green and red silk. It can be dated as a product of 19th century Ahmedabad by the distinctive weave, the design and style. Brocade symbolized affluence and luxury and Salarjung's collection has a mind-boggling display of brocade saris, dupattas and ornis which may have graced many a beautiful figure in the distant past. The rich variety of feminine attire is woven in intricate patterns with gorgeous colors. 
there are two types of brocades which are highly sought after even today. They are Himru and Mushru brocades which are unique in being woven with silk and cotton threads. Salajung's collection displays many beautiful pieces of Himru style which is indigenous to his homeland. A collection of such eminence as Salajans cannot be complete without the wonderful woolen products of Kashmir. Kashmiri shawls are displayed in resplendent prominence, second only to the brocades in importance. Kashmiri shawls are cherished the world over for their softness, their colors, their texture and above all the purity and quality of the wool. Salajung Museum has a breathtaking range of Kashmiri shawls on display and it seems that each shawl has been chosen for its outstanding design and finesse of the weaver. Kashmiri artists had an inexhaustible treasure of motifs in gorgeous colors from which they drew their designs. The Turanj or Mango is predominant and recurrent motif in almost all the shawls which are showcased in Salajan Museum. Dhaka was for centuries synonymous with the finest muslins the world has ever produced. The magic hands of Dhaka weavers produced such exquisitely fine and delicate fabrics that the poetic names Woven Air, Evening Dew were justifiably given to them. The exhibits in Salajang Museum are fine examples of the fabric around which many legends have been woven, the most famous being that a yard of Dhaka muslin can even pass easily through a lady's ring. The Deccan is famous for its delicately painted and printed Kalamkari designs and textiles. The Salajang Museum has a fabulous collection of Kalamkaris from Andhra Pradesh which make for fascinating viewing with their vibrant colors and intricate floral designs. Some 19th century temple backdrops or pitchwise painted with mythological stories are also displayed in the museum.
Salajang Museum also takes pride in a magnificent collection of Zari embroidered Mughal brocades. The Zari embroideries of India are one of the greatest embellishments on precious cloth. It is an old and much perfected art. The Zari thread known as Kalabatun consists of finely drawn gold, silver or base metal thread wound round a silver thread. The majestic Mughals patronized this art with great enthusiasm and the richly embroidered patterns of Nakshi, Sadi, Chicken, Ari, Zardozi, Gota and Khora is evident on their royal garments and furnishings. These fabulous materials were custom made from the imperial looms of Lahore, Agra, Fatehpur and Ahmedabad which were renowned for their workmanship. More than their garments, the Mughals used lavish embroidery on their furnishings and Salajang Museum has two rare embroidered Mughal curtains which are fantasies in maroon silk. Superbly depicting a tradition design of trees, leaves, flowers and petals in exquisite green and white embroidery. Whether with figures or flowers, Jamdani is a woven fabric in cotton and is undoubtedly one of the finest varieties of muslin. Jamdani is fabulously rich in motifs. Salajang Museum has several attractive Jamdani exhibits which are richly woven with brocade figures. Zardozi is an elaborate style of hand embroidery and it received its fame and popularity through Mughal patronage. The Zardozi garments worn by royalty were as priceless as they were exquisite. Pure gold was beaten into threads and was used to embroider motifs on silk, satin and velvet. There are a few Zardozi exhibits at Salajang Museum which are said to belong to the Royal Mughals. The finest Chinese silk embroideries can always be found in museums and Salajang Museum is second to none. The museum has a scintillating collection of Chinese embroideries which form a valuable addition to Salajang Museum's textile. Chinese embroidered works can leave one gasping in awe at the beauty and obvious skill of workmanship. The Chinese artisans embroidered exquisitely realistic pictures of flowers, birds, insects and butterflies.
Hi, I'm a tourist from Pune and this is my first trip to Hyderabad. I was inspired by my parents that they visited Salajan Museum many times in their childhood. So their childhood memories have come up and I'm enjoying this. This is especially the Chinese gallery where you can see the embroidery of their culture. Today's, in today's day, everyone is aware of Chinese food and the dragon. But yes, here one can really sense and feel the Chinese culture, which is really very artistic. So I'll suggest one should surely visit Salajan Museum once in a lifetime so that they really get this uh, big retreat about the Chinese culture as well. Skillful artists even embroidered fine portraits. Two huge framed embroidered silk portraits of Chinese saints and of wise men adorning the walls of the gallery are spectacular examples of Chinese embroidered portraits. Double-sided embroidery is another rare Chinese art and Salajang Museum possesses some sensational double embroidered pieces which are worthy of admiration. I came to India for a short visit and have been so impressed by the richness and diversity of the culture. In your head, you think of India as just, I, know, I don't know, a small group of, of people, but it's such a diverse and multicultural city, such a diverse and multicultural country. This museum exemplifies that in so many ways, and it's wonderful to see how culture has been preserved for over a thousand years. I was impressed by the influence of Eastern um, um, culture on Indian art and especially also the preservation of Western stuff ar around here. It's, um, it's an amazing e experience and if, if you ever visit India, I would suggest that you come here. Japanese textile arts covered a wide spectrum from embroidered or brocaded hangings to bold, stunning folk art. The creativeness and variety is astonishing. Salajang Museum has an incredibly attractive sample of Japanese silk tapestry embroidery depicting Kegon waterfalls at a scenic place called Nikko. This is a breathtaking feat of needlework. Further, an embroidered Japanese lion and cocks and hens have been done in such a realistic manner, it is hard to believe that they have been created with needle and thread. These pieces are unrivaled in their workmanship and excellence. Rugs and carpets have been around for millennia, 
becoming synonymous with places like Turkey and Persia, now known as Iran. Persian rugs have a distinct look to them, as if a sort of ancient magic has infused their designs. Persian rugs are usually made of wool, cotton and silk. The Kushan district produced the most silk rugs as well as the finest and most expensive Persian rugs using locally spun silk. The fine thread is knotted on a foundation of silk creating an extremely dense silk pile up to several hundreds of knots per square inch. These rugs were usually used for decoration. Beauty and symmetry rather than symbolism was most often the inspiration for Persian rug design. Patterns in Persian rugs often grew on natural subjects like trees, leaves, sprays of flowers, birds and animals, as well as Chinese and Arabic geometric motifs. However, it is said that chrysanthemum and lotus flowers represent happiness and fertility, while the iris stands for religious liberty. Four roses is the sacred tree of life, representing divine power and everlasting life. and the palm tree may symbolize blessings or secret wishes granted while a weeping willow signals sorrow and death. Replete with imagery, they are a feast for the eyes. The carpets displayed in Salajang Museum come from the famous Persian looms of Kushan, Karman, Tanriz, Isfahan and Herat. A few of the carpets on display are woven in metallic threads. Chinese carpets depict dragons and cloud bands. Specially prized is a remarkable rug, which is the both sided Persian silk carpet woven with couplets of poet Hafiz emblazoned on it. The textile and carpet gallery of Salajang Museum must have captured your attention with its splendorous variety, bringing into focus the collector's taste for the unique. Salajang was drawn towards these antique textiles and carpets for their beauty and preciousness, which he acquired with passion and has given us the pleasure of viewing an uncommon collection.
a very interesting episode on textiles and carpets gallery of Salarjang Museum has certainly taken us through a world of charming colors, fine textures, incredible designs and intricate patterns that have left us speechless. Our next episode promises closer views of more treasures of Chinese and Japanese porcelain, two countries which gave a new meaning to art and artistry of the exquisite kind will be represented by the finest porcelain. It's a rendezvous you simply cannot miss.